Okay, uh, in this presentation, I will present our paper, Graph Backdog. And this paper is finished by me, Yuan Pang, Professor Xiu Lianji, and Professor Ting Wang. So I'm the first author and the presenter, Zhao Hanxi. We are motivated by the research efforts of Backdog or Trojan attacks. In those attacks, the attacker aims to generate a Trojan model that only responses to trigger embedded inputs and has specific behaviors, like always misidentifies those trigger embedded inputs in a specific category. However, previous research works only focus on the image vector against the vision system. Due to the flexibility of graph representation and the success of graph neural networks or GNs to capture the graph properties, now more and more systems leverage GN as a supportive backend like molecular identifier and malware detector. However, the vulnerabilities of GN-based learning systems are largely unexplored, especially the backdoor vulnerability. So we seek to bridge the gap between backdoor vulnerability and graph learning, but um, it's not simply borrowing techniques from image domain to the graph. There are a lot of details that need to be redefined on the graph domain, such like how can we define a graph trigger we define it as a subgraph that should contain topological structure and descriptive features. And it's also doubtful that a graph trigger should be universal since the graph itself is non-structured. Thus, we also point that trigger can be tailored to reflect the characteristics of a graph. Also, we need to seek a suitable locality to patch the trigger. Uh, with those thinkings in mind, we design GTA the graph Trojan attack against the GN. GTA makes perturbations in upstream training and takes effects in downstream classification. In upstream training, GTA forges a Trojan model by injecting a backdoor into GN with backdoor training. It also relies on a bi-level optimization process to further optimize the trigger for better effect. <clears throat> in downstream classification, GTA has no assumptions about what's a, what's a classifier, even though the classifier is constructed by a downstream user and fine-tuned. The Trojan model can still encode the trigger embedded graphs and result in a falsified prediction. Then uh, I will introduce the design procedures of GTA. At the very beginning, we leverage a well-trained graph uh, attention network to encode each graph. Those encodings are assured to capture both topology info and original features. Then we use those encodings to do the trigger generation, uh, where we construct the two fully connected networks as topology generator and feature generator, respectively. The topology generator maps node encodings into low dimensional space and determines whether two node should have a connection in trigger based on their encoding similarity. Well, <clears throat> the feature generator <clears throat> Well, the feature generator searches for new features for an effective attack. Then uh, we combine the generated topology and all those features as a generated trigger. And we use uh, generators rather than a predefined trigger because we want to tailor a trigger for each graph. Later, uh, when we talk about optimizing the trigger, we actually refer to optimizing those uh, generators. After getting a trigger GT, we rely on a mixing function to find a suitable locality in the graph and replace the original subgraph G with GT. And our trigger embedding only happens among graphs whose label is not the targeted label. So after embedding the trigger to some graph samples, we now have a poisoned train set and use it to do the backdoor training. Optimizing GN's parameter with backdoor the train set is only the lower level during our bi-level optimization. After getting a well-trained GN, we further use it to instruct the higher level trigger generation. Here, uh, we aim to generate triggers that can make any embedded graph be treated as a targeted category by GN. Okay. So far, uh, we introduced the major techniques um, besides, uh, besides them, we also have a large set of empirical evaluations where we use data sets from multiple domains, cybersecurity, biochemistry, and social nets. We also consider multiple settings from inductive to transductive classification, from self-transfer to mutual transfer, and from graph, graph space to input space. 
the red table contains the basic info of our used datasets. Moreover, we use some representative genes to show general attack effectiveness. Since um, we're the first work to introduce backdoor attacks against the genes, we just uh, adjust the GTA setting as two and get two baselines. The first baseline uses a fully connected graph as a trigger and features are only adaptive among different dimensions. So even though one trigger has multiple nodes with multiple feature vectors. The second baseline has a little bit higher flexibility. It uh, uses adaptive to topology and allow nodes in a trigger has different feature vectors. But uh, both baselines just use a universal trigger during the attack. So baseline one, baseline two, and GTA show the increasing adaptiveness of the trigger. We also use uh, multiple metrics for comprehensive evaluation. We can categorize them into two groups, one for showing the attack effectiveness, like the attack success rate or ASR, um, another for showing the evasiveness, like the clean accuracy drop or CAD. So ASR is used to the trigger embedded graphs and CD is evaluated, is evaluated among the benign samples. Mm. The red table is original accuracy of each data set with a corresponding GN. And the accuracies are acceptable. So which means it's meaningful to discuss attacks on those systems. Um, here are some of our evaluation results. Under inductive settings, we first consider attacking the self-transfer learning within the same data set. Then consider attacking the mutual transfer learning between different data sets within a similar domain. Later, we use a pre-trained model downloaded, downloaded from the public repository uh, and use GTA to inject the backdoor into it. Among those, uh, all those settings, we can observe that uh, the highest success rate of G uh, is always GTA and uh, it also has relatively low clean accuracy drops. Um, we then immigrate the GTA to a transductive setting where we want to affect the node classification results after injecting a trigger. So if a GN has, has K layer, it can pass features from a centric node to its k hop neighbors at most. So we also um, expect that the trigger's effect can be delivered to such a distance. Therefore, when marrying the attack success rate, we consider a trigger's neighbor within k hop And when marrying the clean accuracy drop, we consider the further nodes larger than k hop Still, GT has the highest success rates and low accuracy drops. Also, um, GT has no assumption of downstream models or classifiers. Um, by default, we use a fully connected uh, layer as the classifier. Here, we also evaluate the use of different classifiers as shown in the bottom table. And we find that not only GTA, both baselines also have good attack performances. So we demonstrate that our trojaning technique is downstream model agnostic. So far, GTA works in graph space. Here we also consider the input space attack, which means our trigger not only be passed into graphs, but can survive when transferring back to the original input format. For example, a GN-based Android malware detector first transfer raw Android installation packages or APKs into a call graphs, where each code is um, each node is the Java function and um, edge represents the correlation among those functionalities. When injecting triggers, we should ensure that the trigger embedding graphs are transferable back to raw binary formats. Also, our trigger shouldn't affect the normal use of those installation packages, even though it survive in binary format. Here, uh, we make two sets of evaluations. The first one only use call graph topology and function name embedding as substitute feature. Uh, thus, our, our attack cannot perturb the features, uh, but only able to add dummy calls as trigger edge. And the second evaluation uses both topology and the original static feature of each Android function. That's um, drawing perturbation. We should ensure the perturbed feature of value also meaningful and when transferring back to input space. Here, uh, we evaluate the input space and graph space attacks 
this graph space has more flexibility, thus uh, it's more powerful. But the input space attacks are also effective enough. Finally, uh, we can see the two lines of potential chimeras with defenses. The first one is data inspection, which aims to filter embedded triggers and their influence from graphs. Here we use a randomized smoothing technique, which independently subsamples the graph multiple times and uses the sampled graphs for certifiable training. Mm -hmm. Another contemporary method is borrowed from the variant domain. We imitate one image vector defense model named the neural claims on graph domain to the graph domain, where we first search for the reverse trigger for each class. Uh, the statistically, then we statistically compare the property of these triggers to detect the potential backdoor target. However, both methods, uh, the randomized smoothing and nucleus, have limited detection performances when defending against our GTA. So one may refer to our paper for more details. Okay, those are almost the major parts of our work. As a short summary, um, when proposed GTA, uh, we propose GT, the first backdoor or Trojan attack against the GN, which uses a subgraph as a trigger and tailors a trigger to reflect the characteristics of input graphs. It also agnostic to the downstream model, which leads to a resistive Trojan attack. Moreover, it's extensible on multiple learning settings, such as the inductive or the graph level classification and the transductive, the node level classification. Okay, so yeah, that's my presentation. If you have any questions, just feel free to contact this email. Thanks for listening.